The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. That is disgusting sound. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Should I, like, go get a glass of water or something? (laughs) I feel like any one of us drinking would help at this point. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Stop. You're delaying us. (laughs) Five. Four. Three. Two, one, sink. sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to TTV 126 Armor Day. <laughs> oh my goodness, so, doing this? Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't Easter. around for the Christmas party. Mardi Gras. Mardi. Epiphany. New Year. Marty uh, McFly, because Marty hey, it's Marty New Year. I, I, I hate all of you people. You killed that joke. Swiper, Swiper, you've been sick lately. Yep. How have you been? How how, how have you been holding up, Viper? I'm sure I'm going to make people sick with this terrible audio quality. Yes. But I'm... Gosh, I don't want to catch the podcast, cooties. Have you guys seen the interview? (laughs) No, actually, I have have not yet seen it. I saw one scene from it. Actually, no, two scenes from it. It's quite funny. It is quite funny. Alright, Viper, you're getting off topic. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're in, you're in one of those kind of moods, huh, Ben? So, I, I, I had a good feeling about this episode. I think this is going to be something special. No, you don't. You literally <laughs> said, "Oh, this episode is going to suck." I don't have a good feeling about this before we recorded. <laughs> but this like is... you, that's... way to go, Var. Stop lying Just to the audience. Me. Like you said, you a mess was like in New York. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about yeah, this. Yeah, ten minutes no, later, you I got a know, bad Viper, feeling about this. Because you weren't in New York. Anyway, so without further ado, <laughs> let's talk. Let's introduce who's going to be on the episode today. I am Messenac. I am Bartram. I am LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma. And we have a special Dracula. guest with us today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you mess with, you're so guess. slow. It took us two minutes to get to our names, and then you didn't even introduce our special guest. Well, I did actually. He just went before my segue. Sorry, because your segue fine. was slow. In, in did anyone defense, even use segues? This thing, I mean, in his defense, you did take a long time to start the segue. Fair enough, but I, re- I reject the notion that it's slow because it's faster than all other weeks. Well, anyway. that means all other weeks are even slower. Yeah, because of you. I hate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, hello and welcome go down, to Bird Friday. This is going to go down as TTV's worst episode in history. So, <laughs> well, to follow up with the best episode title, TTV's worst episode in history. <laughs> I love it. That's the worst. We, 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 do, we do have a guest this week, Draco Va, LJ's IRL friend. How's it going, Draco? Pretty good. I'm dying... Pretty much, I'm sick. You Everyone's too. Sick. Seems like that's going around lately. It's it's the yeah, end he's times. He's caught the LJ. He's caught the LJ. He's caught LJ. <laughs> How does it feel having LJ as a friend? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, we got <laughs> we got a good old thing one and thing two here talking hmm. to us. Wait, what? Okay. What the heck is that supposed to mean? How hard did he try to force you to have such a stupid name, Dracova? <laughs> it was your cry. idea, wasn't it? I, 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 I cry. It sounded like I made you cry. How how hard did he like force you to get onto the microphone and actually join this podcast? Uh, I don't know. 
What do you mean? I, I said, just... you want to be on the, on the he podcast? He wasn't even like, conscious. Yeah, sure. Well, congratulations, Dracova. You are officially cooler than LJ. <laughs> Yay. That's not much of an accomplishment. Yeah, it's like on a scale yeah. of 10 to 0 to negative, <laughs> to negative 3 to LJ. Because <laughs> for one thing, your voice is deeper than his, as are many people that live in his Yeah, including his little brother. <laughs> Even my voice is deeper than LJ's. <laughs> That's not a good thing, Viper. Yeah, and that really says something, because Viper has a manly voice. <laughs> I'm going to add like a voice filter to Viper's voice, and she's just going to be like, Yeah, even my voice is deeper than LJ. <laughs> even my voice is deeper than LJ. Yeah, in fact, you know, Dracovod's been here so long, we're going to be hosting a game night. Do you want to explain mm. what game we're playing? I hope he's not there too long, that he, he becomes another one of you. But you need By the time this play. episode's out, it will be over. Oh, yeah, I forgot, because of our editor is so slow. <laughs> hey. You're just really on people about being slow today. <laughs> yes, because you are slow. You're like an armadillo trying to get across the road. Hey, LJ, we just released that. Hey, armadillos yesterday. are cool. You shut your mace. <laughs> Face, mouth. Something. You shut your we mace. Shut your ma- <laughs> shut we your just mace. released an episode yesterday. It would make no sense to release this episode today. So even if I was slow, that doesn't make any sense. You're dumb. Yeah. Since when did I ever say we were going to release this episode today? Maybe it would be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Yeah, well, LJ, you're so slow that you run at the speed of dark. What? So let's talk about some Bionicle news, I'm not guys. even laughing. So, yeah. I'm not even a mobile laughing. game I'm came out. Bionicle Mask of Creation. Yeah, no, wait, nobody gets it? Speed of dark? Speed no, I, I got it. it. I just wasn't laughing because it's not <laughs> okay. funny. Well, at least you got it. I got that reference. It's very clever. I so, didn't crack a laugh at all this episode. So Bionicle Mask <laughs> Creation came out. This will be the first episode where I don't laugh. Ever. Trigger Lauren warning. Lauren played it. does not laugh in this episode. How does the, how's the game, guys? <laughs> we played it quite a Dang lot. It. <laughs> 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 we lose half our fan base to this po- to the podcast because Bar doesn't laugh in this episode. I just laughed! What are you talking about? How's the game, Beforehand. Guys? Whatever. What was uh, so the game? I'm playing it you right now. You mean that now. mobile game? Because I don't yeah, have... Yeah, the mobile game. I yeah, the iOS please. game. I don't have uh, anything that can play that. Has it been released in uh, the Google Store? Yes. I okay. believe so, yeah. It's available on the Play Store. Alright. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. It's definitely an interesting game. I like the animations and the graphic style of it. It would make a really cool Diablo-esque game, I think, if they added more to it. But as it stands, the game feels really empty. It seems like they kind of released an unfinished product, where uh, they did great building the game up to gameplay elements, but then they just dropped the ball with filling it with content. So you just kind of run around the same corridor at, like seven times, killing the same enemies, and then... The last quarter is slightly different with one slightly varying battle, and then that's it. You need to yeah. do that six more times. Yeah, and you actually, you were resilient. You pushed forward to try to get a okay. secret ending. You yeah. beat all the campaigns. I, I was, I was, like, I was hoping, because, like, pl- playing the game, there's no, like, cutscenes or animations or anything. There's, like, a brief slideshow from the animations, but that's it. So I was hoping, okay, <clears throat> maybe if I beat the game with all the Toa, I'm going to get some kind of story content. Like, I'll get some kind of end boss cutscene or something that'll kind of add some hints towards uh, Summer Wave. Nope. Nothing. I beat the whole game. Absolutely nothing. So, yeah. Maybe if you collect all the golden pieces, something will pop up. It's just a very um, basic beat-em-up. I'm not sure. Was Breakout like this? Breakout was... Breakout worse, worse and better at the same time. It was a different kind of game. It was a oh, platformer. Okay, never mind then. Then I can't make and a comparison to it. it uh, I like com- platformer games. Combat was was much worse because there were no combos. You just kind of shot stuff and punched things. But it was also a platformer and you hunted for puzzles and secrets. I mean, there's, well, this there's isn't not, really much of a yeah, platformer either. You, there, two different genres. There's no platforming here, but also there's not really any combos either. You don't really, like, string together attacks. You kind of just... I mean, 
like you can keep your attack string going where you kind of click one skull spider and then you click another one and you keep it going to see how high your score gets before you get hit with another, with another skull spider. And I think that's where they intended the fun to be. It's just stringing your attacks together for as long as possible. Oh, it really and just, is. And just seeing how high you can go. However, um, yeah, you don't really... There's not really varying attacks. It's all the same attack with a different, like, animation sometimes. Pretty much, yeah. So, yeah, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really feel very rewarding or fulfilling. It's a very, uh... It's a very, uh... Bare interesting game. Experience. Yeah, and e even the customization options, they're cool. I'm glad that they added that, but they don't do anything. There's no attributes or anything, um... You know, for for each individual piece. It's just different stuff, so it's... The whole customization aspect of the game is very superfluous. There's not really anything to do. It's you really just, just for aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's just for aesthetic purposes, and it Which doesn't. Which is also a anything. step down from Breakout because it actually affected your stats. Yeah, that's what I was hoping it would be able to do. Would uh, affect the stats of the Toa that you're changing the armor of, but oh well. Yeah, I, I could just see so many cool things that they could have done here with like, with a, like a Diablo esque kind of oh, game, God. and you can pick up loot, and that would be your customization options, and that loot would have different stats and stuff so it seems like they missed a really good idea with this maybe um if they release it on, on the pc it'll be a bit more filled up but they no, got a, yeah. they got a great startup here it's just there's there's just nothing in it well it is a bit interesting to note that the company that made the last couple hf games i think it was breakout brain attack and invasion from below a muzo games did not actually make this game i think it's prima games yeah it's prima completely new developer they've gotten on to do these games so obviously some of the progress that was built up from the last couple would not carry over but it's still i guess it makes shame. sense yeah it is a shame because like i said the game looks really good i think the animations are spectacular playing as pohatu is my favorite um but all the total have some nice interesting animations the uh the layouts of all the uh, the regions are really cool. I just wish they changed more. It's the same map every single round. I would like to have gotten different locations within the region for each round. That would have been nice. Also, actually going somewhere would have been nice, too. Here you kind of just kill some things, walk in a random direction, and kill more things. It would be great if you were actually being directed towards... a location to go to. But Mar, yeah, the instead ancient of being city... stuck in the same dungeon the entire... What, the entire way through. It's the ancient city. Yeah, but the road to the ancient city is exactly the same. <laughs> all, all the way up until the ancient city part, and then you just recycle that from all the other Toa. Ugh. But and I, also, I, loss is, like, really big. Loss is huge. I don't mind that too much. That seems like a very typical game kind of thing. They did that with the Bionicle game in 2003. The they did that in Bionicle Heroes. They made Fenrak. Like, extremely huge. Yeah, that scaling's always been off in Bionicle games. That's not too big of a deal for me. But, well, um, just for, it's not so much it's off, it's just, I bet that's his cannon size, and then the set is so small. Oh, uh, probably, yeah, because yeah. in the animations, loss is pretty big, too. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that makes sense. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. I had fun with the game, though. It was a great time killer, especially while I was out of town, sitting in a car for most of the time. It was definitely worthwhile playing that to keep me distracted um but they could have had a great game but it's just not there yet hopefully they'll update it a bit and add some more content to it i think that will help it a lot but if they keep it like this and this is just all we're going to be getting i don't think it's going to have a very long lifespan so, yeah. yeah i pretty much have to agree it's like i'm just very bitter because i was really hoping for the okoto online game and I know that was probably an unrealistic expectation, but it after was. the panel was, at dude. NYCC, when they honed in on Minog, is what made this successful. And they're so busy with all their other nostalgia pandering. They didn't I kind of that. figured they just said that they based the animation style off of Minog. They know Minog was successful. They know people like it, and they're so yeah. busy nostalgia pandering with trivial things like knocking the masks off of heads. <laughs> You think they would actually know that Monog's one of the things that catapulted Bionicle to success, and that people probably wouldn't take too kindly to a game like this instead of a game like that. Well, I don't necessarily agree with you, because I feel like this is definitely the right direction for the games, and I don't... I think if they had tried to make another Minog, it would have been popular with older fans, not gotten a lot of traction with the younger fans who are their, who they're trying to aim for. Yeah, True. they're trying to As aim for the kids that are all playing with their iPad, their right. parents' iPads, and... 
You had to understand iPads parents' iPads. It's probably the kids' iPad. Let's be honest here. Yeah, like, kids yeah, all have kids iPads having now. Having their own iPads nowadays, yeah. I guess. It's like, uh, cause you had to understand, like this is a new generation of kids where they're all kind of online, sitting there watching commentary, playing iOS games, mobile games. Mobile is the way to go as far as and kids they're not go. outside throwing frisbees or playing football or beating their head against a tree. <laughs> oh man, it seems like point all and man click. Takuma. It seems like point and click would translate pretty well to mobile devices. Yeah, that's just me. I mean, I suppose it could, yeah, but it's not so much a know. limit of the platform as it is you're right, the limit of what they think it, kids I would mean, be interested in. The platform wasn't what I was trying to say. I, I mean, the style of game is what's popular on the platform. Mm. Mm. Very true. This is the kind of thing that's selling, so it makes sense that Lego would go this route. I just wish that they had made it a bit more interesting because they have a great idea and a great basis, but nothing to build up from. So yeah, they're so trying to make like a very basic mobile said, arcade game. I, I just I don't know if Minog or the Okoto Online game would have really been that successful. Although to be fair, I have no clue how Lego is actually making money off of this app because I don't notice any advertisements on the iOS version. And it's a free app, so... Given that it's so darn simple and cheap, it might just be itself kind of a... Just a little, know, a little something, thing. A little something to try and help build a little more hype. It's like, hey, this is a thing. That makes sense. It in itself that case, may be a little more than and then advertisements will come later. That might be the case, and that might be why it's not as built up as it could be, because it's really just a free extra thing that they just kind of threw in. Not it's really an interactive to be a full commercial. Product. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, it's just the it cynical does, part of me talking. It does give you a really good look at the Toa and all their powers, what they like, what their elements are, and then how they handle their weapons and everything. So, I mean, it does do a great job of advertising the Toa as sets, I believe. Mm-hmm. It does. So after Protect playing this game, I, like, I thought the sets were so much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and I have them all. Uh, That's great. And I'm proud to say it. I'm the first one here to own all the 2015 sets. Well, it's like I know one of the reasons, probably just the cynical part of me talking, but I I think one of the reasons why they did not go the Okoto online game route is because they know that the year one story probably is not robust enough to support it. That's considering kind of thinking the same thing. Considering well, how be. things are shaping up and how they are not naming the villagers, you know, there there's no foundation set. For a game where you play, you would have to be a nameless villager doing fetch quests for nameless villagers. Which I mean, they could actually give the villagers that, names in the game. Yeah. I mean, that's which what, I, they, they, I mean, that's, they, that's, that's what they did in Monog. Yeah, the first. Yeah, but there's, Monog, a, there's a reason. A villager, they don't. They don't, don't think. They don't necessarily have to do it just like Minog either. They can still do an online game where you explore Koto without it being a direct duplicate of Minog. Why you and saying they, play they, as the they they could even keep the same style game that they have right now and make it an um, uh, 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 a Kodo online game. I mean, that's kind of like what the uh, that's kind of like what they did with the Voyanui online game, right? Like that wasn't really um, named villager everywhere. You have dialogue everywhere. It was kind of that a different was, game. That was like a turn based RPG, whereas yeah. it sounds like this one is sort of like a mindless tap the screen action game. And then Minog was. Well, point and click adventure. A lot of people, what they like about Minog, it's not they. Now that I've played it, I understand this, because I, if I hadn't played it yet, I'd be speaking completely out of turn. Is it's not so much the gameplay; it's the world building. Yeah, it's it's an adventure because game, is what it is. Yeah, Bionicle that's why twenty like Bionicle twenty fifteen, as it stands, I've said this since the panel. The animations, they're great. I love them. They're very stylistic. Love, love, love the art style. Love their presentation, everything. They're not suited to telling a complex story. And the books, we've yet to see how they're really going to do. So I was kind of banking on the game being the way to tell the story for the year. And now that that's not... Because there's no comics either. Right. And now that that has not books. panned out, I'm very disappointed... Yeah, the animations are how we're going to be getting the story for this year, I'm sure. Yeah, Dude. the books are just going to be supplemental side story stuff, probably. I'm totally I taking this to right now and doing book reviews. I honestly don't think the animations are going to be that bad of telling a story. I think that's actually no. a really great idea. It's just they need to make sure that they're releasing the animations regularly or like there's a lot of them. Because yeah. 30 seconds is not enough content to keep someone, you know, like... Interested. Sat yeah, engaged. interested, satisfied, engaged, perfect. 
all those especially when it's sporadic with no schedule exactly all of those things they need to actually have some kind of regular update where they release these things because otherwise we're just going to be sitting on our butts not knowing what's going on and yeah. hope hopefully as the line goes on we'll get more su- supplemental content but even then oh i bet definitely i will. still think even then they could have made an Dakota online game with this game in mind without having to have villager names and all that stuff i mean yeah the world building is important but you don't necessarily have to build up the villagers themselves to build up Okoto as as a uh, as a landscape, as a location, in a setting. Very true. It would depend on the route they chose to go. Yeah. So, I mean, I do agree with you that obviously this startup year isn't as built up as Modernui was back in 2001. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, and I don't necessarily mm-hmm. think that means the story is overly simplistic or anything. It just isn't quite as in-depth as that one was, and what we're used to. Yeah. Just cut them some slack and see how they build it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And it could be they more. were trying to play things just a little bit safer until they saw how things went, which, yeah, well, see that, we oh, know how it's going so far. They, they might not want to pour, pour in all their resources towards this line if they're not sure it's going to succeed. Play that is little. definitely what they're doing, because they've... I think a lot of the budget's been taken up by the seven gold masks. <laughs> to make yeah. for contests. <clears throat> it, it, it does seem like the budget for this line isn't quite as big as some of their other lines. Like, even Hero Factory's last line seemed to have a bigger budget here, as far as advertising and things go. Not... Hero Factory, I think, did at the start. Hero Factory at the end, the budget had trailed off so much it wasn't even in LEGO magazines anymore. They just stopped advertising in the last year. So I don't know about that. But... Maybe. It's definitely not Bionicle old 2001 levels, but I think that's because they're playing it cautious, like you said. Give it a year, I think, by uh, 2016, once it's proven itself. Because yeah. it is, it's selling out. I, like, I was going to say, everywhere. I think at this point, it, it's it is more selling or less out proven like crazy. itself. It is selling out incredibly fast. Like, everywhere, every day, it keeps selling out, and they have to refresh the stock all the time. Um, yeah. But, I, yeah, I, I just think It'll as time out. goes on and the more this, this wave has time to settle in and get those new fans will probably be seeing it shift more towards not not necessarily the original bionicle but more of a familiar um territory with bionicle where we get a bit more um complex parts and a bit more complex story yeah i don't think it's ever going to go back to how it was but i think we'll get no it will evolve in its own as old bionicle did it will evolve though we're not going to be stuck with just the simplistic nature of that it's at right now hopefully i don't want them to go the hero factory route where they just re-release the toll every single year with a new number oh they'll do it <laughs> oh i really don't want I mean, them I, to do I, I, next year calling it right now tahu blank of fire something other than master uh, guardian of fire guardian of fire well, yeah, guardian be, I, don't, I don't care as long as it's for Samurai? one year <laughs> it'll, be, they, it'll be all good. if they do that for all three years i'm gonna be mad <laughs> Well, it's like the the Toa are the only named characters besides Akimu and Makuta that actually have names that they had to renew and get approved by their uh, whatever mark not marketing but the the name list thing. They call it legal. Legal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, they had to get them approved by legal, and they're only they only really did that because they're nostalgic characters. I don't, and and they fit within the story. I don't personally think we will see another Toa team besides the Toa in the Bionicle reboot. Uh, no. I think many, I think we'll see people other than Toa maybe rise up and be protagonists, but there'll be original non-Toa team characters. They'll be more like I don't mind Takanuva maybe. As so long I as they're the new idea characters, of Takanuva I don't being care. Master of time. Yeah, watch, yeah. we're gonna get the Toa protectors. <laughs> also, yeah, Takanuva Master of Time. I love it. I'm down with that. I'm up for that. Sounds much more totally scary. Cool <laughs> I'm down. I'm up. I'm sideways for that. <laughs> <laughs> and who okay. knows, Vizan could pop in at any time. Yeah, I Vizan's said that the other day. Prime. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if Vizan just like had a cameo in there for a couple of seconds or so? Even if it wasn't a cameo, even, like if he became... Like if this was oh. still like same timeline but completely different point in time, kind of like it's been sort of theorized where, you know, it's like so far off it doesn't really matter. But if Vizon wound up as like the ultimate villain versus Takanuva, Master of Time, that could be kind of be, interesting. I think it played. That would back. be pretty cool. Gotta agree. 
Please, Jimmy. I think the new Please, Jimmy, talk a new about Master of Time. That sounds cool. I don't, I don't want Master of Light. I want Master of Time. I Master agree with you completely. Here, here's what I gotta say, Ben. Stupid. <laughs> you mentioned that uh, you want you wanted to know how the new Mask of Time was gonna look. Here's how I think it's gonna look. It's gonna have the bottom part. The bottom half of the mask will look roughly the same, but the top half is going to be like a visor that covers the eyes, so it looks like an hourglass. <laughs> Do you are see you, where I'm going? Are you serious? No, I'm not serious. I'm being, okay, I'm being, I'm being stupid, but that's, that'd, be, that'd be a funny image to just think about. That would be the <laughs> ugliest mask ever. I know. I hope... Who's the ugliest mask right now? <laughs> Can I get some fan art of that, please? The no, hourglass d- please do not, don't, 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 don't support him. Don't even waste your time with it. Don't even don't visualize that, it in your head. Nessa, that was complete pandering what you just did there. You made a crappy joke knowing it was crappy and then innocently asked for the fans to make fan art. I want to see it. You're full of crap. I want to see it. I want to see if it would look as bad as it does in my head. Don't. <laughs> please don't do this. If you're but, out there, you're an artist listening to the podcast, please don't do it. I'm I'll do it. You. <laughs> yeah. Just but, like, yeah, I don't even know what you were saying. I, I kind of, I, I hope the new mask of time looks like the Evoki. But I what? hope it doesn't. There's a lot of speculation about how the mask of time may be the mask of ultimate power, but I don't buy that because no, the Lego no. magazine says they used it to summon. That's dumb. I'm sick That's of what? seeing the Evoki. The reasoning was like, oh, the mask of ultimate power was forged from the six elements and the mask of time was forged from the six element discs so that's the cuz if parallel. i burned a pile of frozen rock and mud and maybe some leaves it would turn into light well that that's also <laughs> under the assumption that this mask is this mask has the same origins as the one from G1 we don't know right. that you we right. we don't we don't know if this new mask of time was forged from all six elemental discs at, yeah. at best, my theory would be like it was forged at the same time, but at a, or not sorry, it was formed hmm, forged at the same time, but half of it was forged at the same time in a different time, if that makes sense. In the time before time, yeah. Well, no, the time. After, I saw before. a Reddit post. How is there a mask of time? Because Bionicle takes place in the time before time. <laughs> well, that's just it. It was before time, and then once the mask was made, there was time. Interesting. And then people theory. got bored and they wanted something else to spice up their food besides time, so they tried chili powder and oregano. But I'm ch- funny guy. Oh, it's Akuma. It's like it's like the I'm edge not... of tomorrow and time just repeats itself. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. It's Bionicle Generation okay. Two is Majora's Mask. Every oh, day, they, every day they have to go get their gold mask again. I've never actually played Majora's Mask or any Zelda game, for that matter. I tried playing Majora's Mask, and I gave up after about, I don't know, 20 minutes, an hour. <laughs> All I remember seeing is I don't people like making being fun of, uh, I just remember people making fun of Makuta getting killed by, like, the moon, and they were <laughs> ma- re- making references to the Majora's Mask moon. Oh, that creepy moon. That's all I remember, yeah. Yeah, that terrifying one, yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Enough chat about chatting about this game and overall stuff. Let's talk. Let's talk turkey, and turkey. not like Thanksgiving okay, turkey because so... it's New Year's. <sighs> but like, okay, Kai would all my love... fun, don't you? <clears throat> Kai would love to be here for this, but I'll I'll echo his sentiments in his stead. The Bionicle sets came out on January first. They're selling out like crazy. I'm not sure at the time of this recording where they're available to purchase, but I just remember yesterday you, it was difficult to find them most places. Oh, yeah. And I know people here have slowly been amassing their collections, and I think as it stands, Vin and LJ have the most out of everybody. Mm-hmm. What are you guys' yeah, status? I am Vin missing... Has... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Vin. Oh, uh, I'm... Oh, what? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead? I was talking to LJ. What? You just stopped talking. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. The one time we want him to talk. Wait, I'm confused. <sighs> Who's supposed to be talking? Okay, okay, okay. LJ is. I don't know why you told Vin to talk. Because I heard Vin say something. Anyway, that was me. No, it was, I, that, I, it was I... you and Vin. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. is. I didn't know. So Venom has up, all man. of them, and I'm at the time of this recording missing the protector. Of ice wow, way to speak for me. Way. 
LJ. This is why I wanted uh, you to talk. <laughs> Shut your pie hole. I am going, guys. I You're quit. driving far to the break. I no, quit. come back. I quit. I'm we done. have work to do this I'm year. Done. We're I'm launching leaving. new series. You can't quit. No, not with Kahi at the helm. Yeah, I know, right? But no. So I'm only missing three. How are you guys enjoying your set? I'm enjoying Hey, it. what about me? Oh my goodness, Var. Uh, well, you too, I guess. We can just do a round table. How's your set? <laughs> I got four Toa and two protectors. <laughs> Which ones? Nice. I got wow, Tahu great. and Yua and Riwa and Gobaka and Fire and Earth. I've got Anawa, Kopak, and oh my, my god, goodness. most He's of Liwa. You mean Anya? Anya, my bad, Anya. Anya. <laughs> Honestly, how could I forget? The new sets have been great. Dracova and I have just been like messing around and like cooperatively building them. I've never built a Bionicle set with another person. Like, cooperatively building one. Yeah, like, here. Well, Dracova, what do you think of the new sets? You gotta get close to the mic. Close, close. Okay, that's good. Not, that's too close. Okay. Sorry. Right there. What do you think of the new sets? They're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yeah. Tell, you should tell the story of your Amazon pre-orders and how that worked out, because it's a funny story. <laughs> wait, what, wait, who? My pre-orders? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. You got, like, duplicates because you forgot to cancel. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, first of all, I didn't forget to cancel. So, I pre-ordered sure? Onua, Loss, and Pohatu from Amazon, and then found two of the three of them at a store. I found Lost and Pull Out to at a store, and I was like, mm, well, this sucks. So I, I grabbed the both of them from the store shelf, grabbed Kopaka, who I was there to find, went to go cancel the pre-order, but it was too late. So, so, yeah. So you got multiples? Yeah, I have a multiple Pohatu and a multiple Loss. However, Pohatu I'm giving to Dracova, and I'm keeping the Loss for other things. We're speculating what to do with it. At all. We give it away as a prize somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's why I'm keeping it. It's, it's in its box. I'm not opening it. Awesome. So we all, in that case, we all have sets in, except for Viper. Everyone here has got a set. Yeah. Takuma. What, uh, what happened? I got everything. Ex I went to the local Target. Uh, what was it like? The day before my birthday, so the 29th of December. Oh, happy birthday. They, no oh, thanks. They had, they were all just kind of thrown on a shelf. They hadn't been like actually set or anything. So it was actually kind of funny because, um, I had my basket. So I'm just down, I'm just, you know, hunched over down at the lowest shelf where they are. I'm just basically shoveling them into my basket. <laughs> and one of the employees is like, can I help you find anything? It's like, well, I'll let you know in a minute if I don't find them. And he looks at what I'm putting in my basket. He's like, whoa, they still make Bionicle? <laughs> <laughs> That's and great. Then, and I was like, no, but they just came back. And he was like, whoa, that's cool. He's like, I just, I remember them from when I was young. Well, I never got any of them, really. But I remember <laughs> them from when I was young. They were so cool. He's like, and he's like, they don't look as creepy as they used to. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look as creepy. <laughs> What's that? Um, comparing them to Baraki? Probably I Anika don't even and the know. Baraki, yeah. but, um, Anika and Baraki are kind of creepy looking. I thought they, they were. But um, then I told him, I told him my sob story about the McTorin, which I could have sworn I mentioned on a previous episode, didn't I? I don't recall any sob story. About when uh, which when I tried to get the McTorin from the first generation. No. What okay, happened? so so time. what happened was um, because you know they were at McDonald's, and so my mom went to McDonald's. Oh and, yeah, you told this story yeah, before. She asked for the Hackby meals. They said, you know, the boy, the boy or girl toys. They get to stall the boy ones. Came home and they gave us book of poo rubber stamps instead. I told him that <laughs> story. He busts out laughing. He actually like starts leaning against the shelf and banging on it because he's laughing so hard. <laughs> wow. You're a I didn't true think it was that funny. I guess You're a funny I wasn't guy, trying. Literally. But anyways, <laughs> they didn't have Pohatu, Onuo, or Gali. And when I actually went back and checked last night, the all they had was the protectors and Tau. Oh wait, they also had Loss, but 
all the other Toa weren't even there. So it's like, wow. I gave up and just ordered the other three off the from the uh, yeah. Probably a good call. Uh, when I checked my target last, it was funny. It was the neatest I had ever seen my target's Lego aisle organized. <laughs> It was pristine. Nothing was out of place, and they had Tahu Kopaka and the fire and ice protectors. Man, my target the like shelves. they like didn't even care. They just tossed the bionicle sets in every single. Yeah, there much. There is like one set in every aisle, whether it was Lego or not. There were some in the pink aisle. There were some all over the place. There weren't even wow. price. There weren't even like the little price things that tell you how much they cost. Oh yeah, yeah. They, yeah they I had no clue how much they cost. Tags. I mean, I knew I, how much they cost because I'm me. But yeah, because like, I, I was trying to get when the uh, DCPI code for Kopaka back when we were hunting them down, but I didn't want to buy Kopaka because I ordered them from Walmart and there was no price tag, so I couldn't really check, <laughs> and I was dismayed. But no, it was very nice. And then you know the guy cut them open and I got the rest of the protectors. So fun times were had. There. Cut them open, like gutting a fish yeah. or something. And I cut the box open. I think I told this story. Oh, cool. Got a box, cut them open. Yeah, the boxes. And they made the sets. Weren't even sure if they could sell them. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Opinions on the boxes. Go. Now I like the fact that they're in. boxes instead of, you know, plastic canisters because, hey, now you can use the plastic for the sets or whatever. But they're so flimsy that, yes, some of my parts are just a little bit warped. It's not terrible, but when you're OCD like me, just being that much warped is, yeah. My Kopaka Annoying. box got smashed beyond repair. Oh, yeah. Oh. My my Liwa box was absolutely smashed, and that was the best one that I could find of Liwa. I was cry. You were crushed? got smashed. I've gotten lucky. When I ordered the first three Toa from Walmart, my Tahu and Galley boxes were smushed. Liwa's was intact, surprisingly. <laughs> Fit the a- Galley and Tahu's were smushed, but I managed to, like, pop them back into shape so I can still use them for reviews. All my other boxes have been fine. I, I'm eager to see what happens with the Protector Vice box. But no. Yeah, I, I will say they these. look... They are pretty flimsy, but I like how they look. Yeah, I like, I how, like they look. how they look. Visually. Too. They are incredibly they... flimsy. I will say when I first got my Anuo, who he was the first set I got, no other sets. Um, When I initially picked up the box, I didn't think it was that flimsy. I was actually surprised because it appeared a lot stronger than I was assuming it would. Now they are still definitely they are still flimsy, but I do have to give them credit; they're better than I thought they would be. Mm-hmm. With that said, when I went to my Target to get all the sets that, um, or the rest of the sets that I have, and just kind of carrying them all, just the weight of the the pile of sets is already starting to crush the boxes underneath. <laughs> wow. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I don't. I also none of my parts were warped either, but I I kind of cringed when I opened the boxes and the instruction manuals were all bent up and oh, like jammed oh, in there. That's the worst thing. I know that feel. Hmm. And I do miss the new. Yeah, that happened with smell. my own new instructions. Oh, actually. that that new plastic <laughs> smell. The the smell when you crack open a new canister and you pull out the instructions, you just. Like, I, yeah. I feel like that's probably toxic when you or something, <laughs> but... You, you, grace your nose. <laughs> you open up that canister, open up that canister, you give it a little sniff, and then, whoa! Get to work! Yeah. <laughs> now it's like you open up, now it's like you just kind of pop open a cardboard box, it's like... Uh, it's not the good old meh. stuff. I don't smell my package. I need my fix. We need that fix of new TTV plastic. says, t- say no to drugs, kids. Say no and to new plastic, drugs. kids. <laughs> Bionicle I don't miss canisters at all. They were a waste of space, waste of money. Let's Gimmicky be honest, though. Beans. It's not as bad as scented markers. Hey, come sniff markers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, I'm just saying, I, I love canisters. They were pretty great sometimes. <laughs> and they were pretty awful for the last five years of Bionicle. <laughs> I don't miss them at all. I just miss the smell. Yeah. But overall, yeah. I do like going towards boxes more. Thinking of it, yeah, I think of it now like with the boxes. I have with, a, with the boxes I have a and load of canisters in my closet, and I just use them to store like small things. Mm. I I like them for storage, but they did take up a lot of space. And looking mm-hmm. at it now with the boxes in hand, I really don't miss them as much as I thought I would. So yeah, I don't same. really care if they come back. I miss their story relevance. That's about it. Oh, that yeah. was a neat tie-in. <laughs> Can you imagine? Now it's like they fall from the sky and they go to the beach where they come out. It's just this crushed box and they're just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they, they fall what out of boxes. happened? 
<laughs> the box couldn't support their weight. And they fell so like, it's like Pows pops off, come out, and he holds up one of his arms pieces and then snapped in two. Why, <laughs> Lego? Why? And, and Leewa, he just never showed up. Quality. They just found a pile of green dust. <laughs> it can be a PSA about peace quality. <laughs> it's oh, like, man. this is your brain, canister. This is your brain on drugs, box. I will say the canisters were a pain in the butt to open sometimes, too. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, really? oh, but that made it so much sweeter I've had, like, no trouble in. opening them. Just, like, lift yeah. up the two pieces of tape and whatnot, and that, that's pretty much it. You just lift up the, the two tabs on the box. And, yeah. These boxes have been a pain. The tape ripped on the ice boxes. See, I don't even, I don't bother with the tape. I just take a knife and cut them. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, that's what I did while pair of scissors anyway. It, 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 yeah, and, it, and it's super, super easy. It doesn't do any damage to the box itself. Oh, I, see, I, I carefully ripped the tape off and then popped the seal and then, like, opened the... See, yeah, you're just asking to rip something if you do that. Well, I, I got pretty lucky it was only the ice ones that got botched. Which reminds me about the boxes. On the back, you know how they have different languages and stuff for the characters? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. People have taken on the internet to calling the protectors by their names in the different languages. Yeah, I know. Protector of Earth is like, or no, the Protector of Stones, people are calling Pierre. <laughs> yeah. And the people, calling Protector of Ice. They're calling him Pierre. <laughs> oh. Pierre is like stone in different language, Let's but it's see. on the back of the box. And like, Ice is Glace. Oh, and glace. It's like their glace. names now. Yeah. Hmm. They might as well be. Pierre. <laughs> Protector. Yeah, I'm looking at I the box subscribe of to Protector this. of Stone right now. Le Protecteur de la I didn't remember this come summer, actually. <laughs> la Protecteur. Because yeah. now that I have all these Water. sets, but Le I don't... Le Protecteur de Leo. Is this Leo? I want... no, this Protector is... of Lugi? I don't think this is French. <laughs> no offense to any people in other languages yeah. who we are mocking. Bionna Figs is just going to come on here going, Well, we used to like you. Now we don't uh. like you. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, they never liked us. Huh. No one ever likes us. I like us. You're us! <laughs> so? <laughs> you are us and us is you. Yeah, that's that that actually is a good creepier, question. Young, Do we still count as fans of TTV? Well, we're a part of TTV. No, you Heaven. don't. If we, were, if we were a fan before we joined. Otherwise, you, otherwise you'd be able to win prizes at Makuta Fest. And since you can't win prizes, you're not a fan. Fair enough. So well, I'm the quit. distinction of whether we're a fan is if we can win prizes. I see how it is. What's a true fan of TTV? Oh my goodness. But I was not a big fan up. of TTV. I'm actually a part of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the different was... levels of fandom. I'm not a fan of TTV. I think TTV sucks. <laughs> You're responsible for part of that, though. I am responsible for all of it. I hate it. Where, where, where did <laughs> you go is my wrong? This legacy. <laughs> Hey, look, look it's a, well, it's at least we don't have the legacy of like, evil. Maybe evil. I shouldn't call. I shouldn't call. <laughs> this. No, I was going to say something else, but I probably shouldn't call out other groups by name. That could be bad. Yeah, you're trying to get us in trouble, aren't you, Takuma? No, I'm trying to avoid trouble. trouble. If you wanted to avoid trouble, you'd get rid of LJ. That is hey, so true. <laughs> LJ, you're fired. You know what? What the heck? I, I show up on time. With the dude to dudes. Time. I, I, I do a ton of work for the channel. How many videos have I You can't see it right now, but I'm playing the world's smallest violin. That's... LJ, we're keeping your... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, can that be the new... I want that Thank to be the you, new Viper. intro. No, wait, when I get my own series, I want Vipers humming right there to be the intro music. <laughs> Fine. That was good. That was very good. Right. And anyway, LJ, was... we're... LJ, you're fired. We're keeping the recaps. Thanks. Woohoo! No, unfortunately. What I was going to say is, um, now that I've got all these sets and I don't actually like doing any mocking, I've decided that come summer, when I'm out of school and have a job, I'm going to get a new camera, I'm going to start doing comics again. Except hey. this time it'll be photo comics. Hey. Photo comics? Photo comics are stupid, though. Yeah. Well, hey. I can't exactly do the Monolog style comics anymore. And that, you know, I need to do something with all these sets I bought. You could play with them. This that would be yeah, how I'd play, play with, with them. them. 
So anyway, then the oh. awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just browsing Tumblr. And I saw a post. Oh come on. <laughs> Tumblr talk Custom. with Nesso. Completely do your, do your focused. job, Nesso. Jeez, what do we keep you around for? You're fired with LJ. So Viper, when are we gonna have the episode where we make flower soup? I don't know. Not right now because I'm not feeling very well. But Sunday. Sunday or someday? Someday. 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 It's mock up. No copyrighted music. We, we, we should have. We should just have a segment at the very end of TTV every single episode where we sing a random song. We did. It was called Music Time. On yeah, TV. That was only with Viper, though. Or no, it Viper. Was that Nira. was only with Nira. Nira and Ian. Ian contributed. <gasps> well, let, let's all contribute this time. <laughs> you confused me with someone else. Oh, you're not that rememberable. Shut up. Rememberable? Rememberable. Rememberable. Shut up. It's like the like remember. Rem- rem- I remember that moment. That rememberable. Rem- rem- all or whatever in Harry Potter. Ah, yeah. oh, dang yeah, it. I, I rem- just rem- realized rem- something. What? <laughs> uh, blah. I was supposed to um <laughs> update my comic topic on the boards, and I haven't done that, and I realized the reason why is because those were on my... Surface Pro, ha, huh. which is oh. currently being repaired because it accidentally fell and cracked. Oh, ouch! <laughs> Thousand bucks down the drain. Well, so nah, cold, we repaired, all know that. So. And that's why you should buy what warranty, what guys. Yeah. What if they're jerks and like only reimburse you for half of it? That's what I said. Like, what if they only give you, like, the value of it that it's worth now, not the value? No, they for? won't. They're going to reimburse me for the amount of money that I paid for it. Okay. That's, well, that's why they required the, the receipt. Okay. okay, well, I think that's pretty much been... No copyrighted music, so... But the message is not my son. The the is not my son. <laughs> the anticipation much... of doing that sound effect is brilliant. So that's pretty much all the news for today. I think the la- the last bit before we end the episode, I think we should bring back Talk to Vin. All right. Uh, what is Talk to Vin? You'll soon see. So you talk, take it away, Vin. You're to killing Vin. Mess up. All right. Five, four. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TTV, aka Talk to Ven. Today's guest, we have one of LJ's many imaginary friends, Dracova. <laughs> All <Nice>. right, enthusiasm. <laughs> I like it. Uh. Wow, it really is imaginary, huh? <laughs> so, LJ, I think Jack you Obama. need to go what? see a mental <laughs> institute. <laughs> okay, I think he's back. You know what? Okay, continue I think, on. I, I think we should have talked to VLJ, because that conversation would go a little bit better. Dracova, how have you been doing? Wow. No. Oh, uh, that's anyway. good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Say something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a Spider-Man. Gosh, Continue. All right. So, Dracova, how do you feel about being on the podcast today? It's cool. <laughs> it's very interesting. All right. Dude, listen to how bassy his voice no sounds. what you guys are talking about, but yeah. What do you mean you don't know what we're talking about? I'm asking you a question that you just answered. It sounds like you acknowledge what we're talking about. Well, anyway, what you been up to lately? I don't know that much about Bionicle, except they look really cool. That's fine. Uh, Fair enough. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can see why this was cancelled, was it? <laughs> Ouch! This is awful. Didn't go, man. It, it was, it was go. never canceled. We just cut its budget and took away the intro music. Shh. Go, Ben. Go. Okay. So yeah, what what have you been up to lately, Draco? 
uh, hanging out with LJ, <laughs> playing I lots of you. Hawkins. <laughs> How's that been going? Pretty good. <laughs> 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 Well, I must applaud you on your ability to give <laughs> sum- summarized answers. I wish a lot of us could be like that sometimes. So, wh- What's your wh- favorite number of the alphabet? Yeah. <laughs> what do you favorite do number for of the alphabet. Favorite? Too many questions. What? Vin, you're the host. Ask him the question. <laughs> what what, what do you do for a living? Um... Currently nothing. I go to school. Hey, that's good. Are you homeschooled? I was. But now you're not? No, I'm not. Smart man. I go to college. <laughs> smart man. Smart, smart man. You can learn a lot from that, LJ. <laughs> then, unfortunately... No, no. I now Dracofa is on like a tier so high above you. It's like it's like heaven. You it's it's so high above you you don't even believe it exists. Gaze upon heaven. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut this entire segment out, right? <laughs> it's your call. What's your favorite number of the alphabet? I'm sorry I'm so interesting. Alright, let me just ask you one more question. We'll be done with this. Because I'm sick of my time being wasted. (laughs) (laughs) The final question is tradition. (laughs) Pay close attention. No one ever gets this right. Alright, everybody. Shh. Dracova. What are you going to do next? I'm going to go to Disneyland. Yes! yes! Someone finally got it! It only wow. took however many episodes. Amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, wonderful. That made that segment worth it. Thank you. Yeah. Good sir. And that is... Are we sure? To ben. I need to... Yeah, I did it really, though. Go get a drink. <laughs> okay, this is talk to Ben. Yeah, I'm going to go get a drink. Okay. So... Don't That's very much it for this kids. episode of the CTV Podcast. Thank you, Takuma. I really appreciate that PSA. I, I I, go with my word earlier today where I was like, this is going to be the worst episode we've ever done. <laughs> it was a good episode. I stand by that. We had good flow in the middle. So, I, don't know, I don't know if you know what that means. Something about that sounds terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it feels it was good, a good having all the new Bionicle sets. Woohoo. Yeah, I bet. I'm still missing Golly and Bliwa and Tahu. <laughs> they they all look so good. I find it so funny that you're complaining because you have no sets. I haven't got any. I'm still waiting for them to appear in shops. Well, I'm not complaining that I have no sets. I'm complaining that I have all the sets but three. No, what I mean is, is that <laughs> wow. you're complaining that you only have <laughs> one set missing. I have none. I have three sets. There's three Sorry, sets. Yeah, three sets. Viper. I hear you. Four. I've, for what it's Five. worth, I feel sorry for you too, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's end this episode. So, thank you all very much for listening to episode 126 of the TTV podcast, filled with excitement, laughs, cheer, and good discussion. We will see you all next week for another exciting episode, and hopefully we are going to have summer 2015 set pictures to talk about if history repeats itself. We should have them by then. Yay. I am Messinac. I am Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm, I'm Draco Va. <laughs> I'm Venom. I'm Viper. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling traumatized. <laughs> this was TV episode 126. Yeah. Cringe. <laughs>